Welcome back to the AI podcast. In today's episode, we're diving into the ultimate video model showdown, putting five of the most talked about AI video tools to the test. We'll test each one with two examples. First a text to video prompt and then an image to video prompt. After that, I'll break down how each model performs in terms of realism, motion smoothness, cinematic tone and consistency. Let's get started. Let's begin now. For comparing all these models, I'm using OpenArt, one of my favorite AI programs. It's packed with features and supports multiple models in one place. I'll create a separate tutorial on OpenArt later because it's really full of everything you need for testing. So let's start with text to video. For this first challenge, we gave all the models a sci-fi cinematic prompt, a lone astronaut drifting through the ruins of a massive space station with Earth glowing in the distance. This is designed to test atmosphere, cinematic lighting, and smooth camera movement. After that, we pushed them with a second real-world prompt, a young woman in a yellow raincoat running across a rainy Tokyo street, neon reflections on the wet asphalt, cars passing by, and the handheld camera feel. This is a real test of human motion, crowd realism, and weather effects. These two prompts are where we'll see how each model handles cinematic scope versus everyday realism before we move on to the more advanced image to video tests. For our first text to video test, we use the sci-fi cinematic prompt of a lone astronaut drifting through the ruins of a massive space station with Earth glowing in the distance. Here, Kling 2.1 came out on top. It followed the prompt exactly, with smooth cinematic motion and the camera dolly we asked for. This was the most accurate and visually convincing result. The rest of the models struggled in this round. Some lost the sense of scale, others missed the cinematic movement, and a few couldn't keep the astronaut consistent. So for this test, the clear ranking is Kling 2.1, and the rest failed to deliver as per the exact prompt. For our second text to video test, we used the prompt of a young woman in a yellow raincoat running across a rainy Tokyo street Neon lights reflecting on the wet asphalt, cars passing by, and a handheld cinematic camera. In this round, Veo 3 takes the win. It came the closest to following the prompt, maintaining the cinematic feel, handling physics realistically, and giving natural animation. Seedens produced good animation quality, but it drifted away from the exact details of the prompt. Kling 2.1 Minimax Hiluo 2.0 and WAN 2.2 all struggled here. Now let's move into image to video tests. Instead of just portraits and landscapes, we're using cinematic stills designed to test these models. We're starting with this image of a hooded figure in dramatic shadows. Seedens absolutely nailed it. It created exactly what was required. Subtle breathing, natural blinking, and perfect shadow handling. This one takes the top spot. Minimax Hilo 2.0 surprised me with a really good result. It kept the hooded style consistent and gave a strong cinematic feel. Kling 2.1 did a good job, but it added some extra lip movement that wasn't part of the prompt, so not as accurate. One 2.2 handled it decently, but the output was lower resolution compared to the others. And finally, Veo 3. It delivered a result, but it didn't really match the exact requirements as tightly as the rest. For our second image to video test, we used the extreme close-up of a girl's eye under a hood, with raindrops sliding down her cheek. Kling 2.1 absolutely nailed this one. The blinking felt natural, the raindrops had smooth motion, and the detail held up even in such a tight shot. Seedens and Minimax Hiluo. 2.0 both did a good job. They kept the realism intact and followed the prompt well, though not as strong in micro-expression detail as Kling. WAN 2.2 performed decently, but the resolution was softer and it lost some of the fine details in the skin and eye. And finally, Veo 3 came last in this test. It produced a working output, but missed the realism and subtle detail that this close-up demanded. For our next image to video test, we use the hooded warrior in mid-leap, cloak flowing in slow motion, sparks flying behind. Minimax Hilo 2.0 takes the win here. It adhered to the prompt the most accurately, keeping the leap, cloak flow, and cinematic slow motion exactly as described, 
Cedence and Wand 2.2 both delivered good results with strong cinematic particles and movement, but they drifted a bit away from the precise prompt details. Kling 2.1 produced a really strong action shot, but it introduced extra camera movements that weren't in the prompt. The action looked good, but the adherence wasn't perfect. And once again, VO3 struggled to stay close to the prompt. While it showed particles and cinematic motion, it didn't capture the exact leaping warrior moment we asked for. All five models did well with the particles and overall cinematic movement, but when it comes to sticking to the prompt exactly, Minimax Hilo 2.0 nailed it. For our final image to video test, we pushed the models with a full action shot. A hooded man throwing a knuckle punch in the rain, captured in high speed slow motion. VO3 really surprised here. For the first time, it completely nailed the prompt, delivering exactly the movement we asked for. With dramatic rain particles and cinematic impact, it takes the top spot. Kling 2.1 comes in second. It handled the cloak fabric beautifully and gave a strong action feel, but it didn't follow the prompt as precisely as VO. Cedence and Wan 2.2 share third place. Both produce solid results, but neither fully locked into the required punch motion. And Minimax Hailuo 2.0 lands in last place this time. While it captured some cinematic energy, it strayed the most from the intended action. That wraps up our first AI video model comparison. Each tool showed its own strengths. Kling 2.1 stood out for precision in cinematic sci-fi. VO3 nailed the realism in everyday human motion. Cedence delivered strong polished visuals. WAN 2.2 impressed with detail, though sometimes lacked accuracy and Minimax Halo 2.0 shined most when sticking to stylized or action-heavy prompts. What this really shows is that no single model is perfect. It depends on whether you need realism, cinematic flow, or stylized expression. In our next episode, we'll push these models even further by testing something every creator wants, lip sync performance. We'll see which of these AI video tools can match dialogue and singing to character mouths with true cinematic accuracy. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe for more AI filmmaking insights.